Neighbors told us yesterday that this road um, is used as, some, as somewhat of a shortcut to get to Clover Street. They say that they've seen several cars travel through here at higher speeds uh, than the speed limit. Well, today I saw several uh, school buses and cars kind of uh, stepping on the brakes a little bit today, especially after what happened here yesterday. But other than that, things are back to normal here on Warren Avenue today. A lot of cars and school buses taking it slow, um, staying below the 25 mile per hour speed limit. Investigators were out here for most of the morning. They say they're looking into a number of factors. The main issue is speed. They haven't determined the cause yet, but police say there's several witnesses that say, in their opinion, the car may have been exceeding the speed limit. Investigators are reconstructing the scene. You can see all the markings on the road. They're looking at forensics, gathering data from both vehicles. We learned today that one of the passengers told police they were en route to drop him off here on Warren Avenue. One of the other factors police are looking into is if the driver violated the New York State graduating license system. In, in this case, we're currently reviewing the facts and circumstances regarding the license of the driver and make, trying to make a determination as to whether the number of passengers that were in that vehicle should have been in that vehicle. At the conclusion of our investigation, if it uh, is determined that the driver was in violation of that, we will take enforcement action. Now, if they find the driver shouldn't have had four people in the car, it does violate the status of the license. Um, he, they say the issue will be handled in local court or through the Department of Motor Vehicles, and that's something that will be determined later on down the line. They haven't made any conclusions yet, especially when it comes to the speeding. Don? Well, Joy Angel, last night, one of the students who was out there was telling me how this became part of his driver's ed, and then we're now hearing at school that they had counselors out there assisting students and faculty throughout the day. Yes, well, uh, the school counselors, they have activated their crisis uh, response team and are closely uh, monitoring students and faculty during this difficult time. And they tell us they, too, are keeping the two victims in the hospital and everyone involved in their thoughts and prayers tonight. All right, Joe Angel Concepcion, live out on Warren Avenue, a much more peaceful Warren Avenue today. Thank you, Joe Angel. And just to get